Hello chess lovers, Soren here and I would like to share with you another aggressive attacking game played by Mikhail Tal. His opponent is Croatian chess player Josip Rukavina and the game was played in 1973 in Dubna. Rukavina had white pieces and he started with knight f3, c5 by Tal, b3, d5, c4, d4, g3, knight c6, d3, knight f6, bishop g2 and e5. If we have a look at the position, already black has a very pleasant position. White castles kingside, bishop e7, knight d2, black castles kingside and b4. White is trying to organize his game on the queen side. Of course, all this looks like a reversed Benko gambit. But now Tal is capturing on b4 and after a3 we see a strong response a5 strengthening the pawn on b4 square. Knight e1. Bishop g4 not even allowing white queen to move. Knight c2, queen d7. At some point black can offer an exchange of light square bishops. Rook e1. Now comes e4, a beautiful tactical shot by Mikhail Tal. The thing is that now white can't capture on e4 with the knight because after the exchange of knights, black has this b3 move and it turns out that the knight on c2 is trapped. That's why after e4, as you can see already, there is a threat of capturing on d3, white captured on e4 with the pawn. Now comes d3 and already white is facing serious problems. All these pieces look very passive. Knight e3 and bishop takes e2. This bishop supported by this powerful pawn on d3 square just demoralizes white's army. Queen a4, now comes the knight, knight g4. Knight f1, bishop f6, and after rook a2 we see bishop c3. Suddenly black bishops got very active. Bishop d2, now comes the queen, queen d4. Of course you won't capture on c3 because of this b takes c3. A takes b4 was played but now we see the exchange of bishops on d2 square. Of course you can't capture on d2 with the knight because of this knight takes e3. That's why we see rook takes d2. And A takes b4. White is losing one more pawn. Queen b3. And now comes the rook, rook a1. Rook takes a1, queen takes a1. Knight takes g4, but of course Mikhail Tal is not even going to recapture on g4 and lose the pawn on d3. Now comes the knight, knight d4. And after queen b2 we see knight f3 check. The knight can't be captured because of this queen takes f1 checkmate. After knight f3 we see king h1 and queen e1. Already white is threatening to capture on f1. Knight e3 was played but already the knight is no longer protecting the pawn on f2 and we see queen takes f2 after which white resigned. Right now the threat is queen g1 checkmate and if bishop takes f3 then bishop takes f3 check if knight g2 either white can capture on g2 or play queen f1 and white king is getting checkmated. A very simple but at the same time very impressive attack by Mikhail Tal. He just gave his opponent no chance. Thanks for watching and if you have any questions don't hesitate to leave your comments. Good luck.